Okay, on this problem it says the number of bacteria in a refrigerator food product is given by the quadratic equation right here. Now that is a messy quadratic equation. Brace yourself for the worst. So we could do this by hand and we'd have to boil the 2t plus 5s, you know, square that, take the 2t plus 5 times another 2t plus 5, which would give us something like 4t squared plus 20t plus 25, then take the 3 through, take the 7 through, combine like terms and all that. Or if we use the poly sheet, I'm on the poly sheet and I scroll down to the bottom of the poly sheet. There's a place here that can handle quadratics or at least simplify them. So I put in my coefficients, which are 3, 2, 5, a 7, 2, 5, and a 100 at the end. And what that does is it multiplies it and foils it together so that you get your quadratic in general form right there. So my A is 12, my B is 74, positive 74. And my C is 210. It's like this is my quadratic equation right here, 12x squared plus 74x plus 210. So I go to my quadratic sheet then and put in my coefficients of 12, 74, and 210. Now I have it all simplified. It's in here, and I can answer any questions very easily using this uh, quad sheet. And what does it want to know? Well, it says find the time when the bacteria count reaches 400,000. And the N here stands for the number of bacteria per cubic center feet. Uh, meter of food in units of thousands. So if it's in units of thousands and I want to find out when it reaches 400,000, then all I have to do is type in 400, not 400,000, because it's in units of thousands. So just type in 400 for the N. And N is playing the role of the dependent variable Y. So I just type in 400 for Y and I'll get that answer. And then it also wants to find out when was there a minimum amount of bacteria in the food supply and what was the minimum. Well, let's go ahead and do this. I'll type in the 400 for Y, and I'll get the time that there was uh, 400,000 bacteria in the food supply, and that occurred in 1.95 hours after you took it out of the refrigerator. This answer here does not make sense, 8.11 hours before you took it out. So this would be the answer that we're looking for right there. And usually on tests it says type in the larger of your two answers or type in the smaller or whatever. So this would be the answer we're looking for. Now, when was there a minimum amount of uh, bacteria in the food supply? Well, this tells me when. The X is the T. So in 3.083 hours before you took the uh, uh, food out of the food out of the refrigerator, there was a minimum amount of bacteria of 95.91 thousand. It's in units of thousand, and that would do that problem there. Well, this problem says find the quadratic equation for the arch of the bridge using the following facts. Here's the arch right here that we're talking about, the thing going up and coming back down. Um, it says the horizontal length of the arch from side to side is 1,600 feet, so the distance from here to here is 1,600 feet. That means we're at negative 800. Think of this as the y-axis and the x-axis here. It's negative 800 over here and 800 over here because it's 1,600 feet. Uh, the lowest part of the arch on the far left and far right is 500 feet high. So this is the point negative 800, 500, okay, negative 800 on the X, 500 feet high on the Y axis is because it's way high if you look at the, the rest. This is actually a the Royal Gorge Bridge in West Virginia. And this is over here, 500 to the right, 800 feet high. So that's two of the points. Now, to get the equation of a quadratic, if we have a lot of points, use them all, but the minimum amount of points that you need is three. And it says the highest part of the of the arch in the center right here is 900 feet high. So at the center, we're at zero on the x-axis and 900 feet high. So that would actually give us these points right here. Negative 800, 500 is this point right here. 800, 500 is this point. And again, the negative 800 and the 800 came from dividing the span of 1,600 and half. 1,600 divided by 2 is 800. So 800 feet to the left of the y-axis would be negative 800, and 800 feet to the right is a positive 800. And then the 900 feet at 0 comes from the fact that it's 900 feet high is its uh, height at the center. Now you just take these three points and put them into the Excel sheet, click the Get Equation from Data Points, and you get your equation right there. It would be uh, H equals right there, negative 0 0.000625 plus uh, at T, well, X squared, I guess, plus 900. And we can see that that's the equation right there, whether you use T or X. And we'll pick it up again on the next video.